That cell tower expansion that Michael signed off on, kill it. It's a pipe dream at best. That was then, this is now. We're dumping way too much money into R&D. Reel us in. Dividends before development. That's your new mantra. Thank you. Hello. Hi. We're here early. Can I offer you some coffee? No, thank you. I just needed to speak with you before I went to work. Okay. What's wrong? Do you ever get the feeling people aren't telling you everything? People are keeping things from you? Are we talking about something specific or just a, a general feeling? I mean, you could be projecting what we're doing with Jason. No, no, this has nothing to do with Jason. And then what's wrong? Lucky Skypes with Cameron and Aiden once a week. Last night, he missed his call. I'm sure he'll make it up. He's missed the past three. And when I spoke to Lulu about it, she said that she's heard from him and everything's fine. But? But I feel like she's keeping something from me. Well, things have been a little rough for Lulu recently. All the literal craziness with Luke has taken its toll. I know, and I get that. But last night I tried to call her, and again this morning, and her phone just went straight to voicemail. It's like your brother and sister have vanished into thin air. But now that you mention it, I haven't heard from Lulu in a few days. What about Lucky? Well, I... You know, my brother and I have a fragile peace. We love each other, but we don't speak on a regular basis, at least not since what happened between you and me. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought no, that up. No, no need to apologize. Look, look, it's it's lucky. I'm sure he's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll call my mother and, and see if she's heard from him. Come to think of it, I, I haven't heard from her since she left town with Luke. I have no idea where she is either. Call me when you can, Mom. Uh, Elizabeth and I are getting a little worried. Okay. Thank you for doing that. You're welcome. Just hope I hear from her soon. Look, everything will be okay. Yeah, I, I know. And, and you're probably right. I'm probably just projecting. How so? Ah, uh, Jason and I ran into Sam and Patrick at the fireworks, and little Danny ran right into Jason's arms. I'm sure that, uh, that was difficult. I'm keeping that boy from his father. So it gives me the right to worry about my own son's relationship with their father. I hate seeing you like this. You tried to warn me. You said it would be too painful to keep the secret, but I was so sure I could handle it. You're not so sure anymore? All I wanted was my time with Jason, and now that I have it, all I can think about is how I'm hurting him. Look. You say we call it off, we call it off. The second either of us want to put an end to this, we can. We can do it, we can do you it right really now. You really think we can come back from this? No one has to know that we knew the truth. We can simply arrange for Jason to find out who he is, somehow. And where is that gonna leave us? I'm gonna lose Jason to Sam forever, and you're gonna lose ELQ. I keep feeling like this. The only way I can be happy is at the expense of others, because I really am a terrible L person. Elizabeth, stop. Hey, hey, Sam is as happy as I've seen her in years now that she's living with Patrick. Oh, and how would Jason feel about that little living arrangement? Oh, right, we're lying to all of them. Jason's where he belongs. Everyone could see what you meant to each other over all these years, even, even Sam. All we can do is make the best choice we can for each other, when every other option is... It's is, terrible. Is, no, it's, it's, Sounds like we're rationalizing. Well, isn't that what we all do? Tell ourselves something so we can just get through the day? Look, I have a board meeting this morning. Come, come on, I can, I can drop you off at the hospital, okay? Thanks for the ride and for talking me down. Anytime. Great, thank you for the information. Bye. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, Sorry, you right? you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Oh, I'm trying to get to a patient. There's been a change in her condition. Which one? Hayden Barnes. 